3030 Autosports. Knocked it out of the park. Custom set of billet aluminum wheels, um, forged. Drilled to our spec, painted to our, or colored to our spec. Um, we got to actually go down there. We're actually relatively close to them. They do everything in-house. They do all their machining, all their powder coating. Should we have gotten them done pink? Red. You think we should have done them red? I think Keith would probably have a problem with red. Keith down there at, Auto, at 3030 Auto Sports, absolutely grade eight, number one guy. Um, super cool guy, super passionate about what he does. So we're running an 18 by nine and a half up front. What or, size tires are that? Um, 25. 275. 275. And then we're running an 18 by 11 in the back. Mm -hmm. What size tire is that? That's a rim, two 95s in the back. So two 75s up front, two 95s in back. Um, I'll throw my spec sheet up here so you guys get an offset backspace. I uh, do remember we are running a Hotchkiss front suspension with stock spindles and Willwood uh, front spindles. So, um, yeah, we're going to do the easy part first. Okay. We're going to put the fronts on. The backs we're going to have to drill and we're actually going to put bigger um, wheel studs in. So let's jack the front of the car up and put these new wheels on. Woo! All right, first things first, we got to jack the car up. You get it? Come on, muscles. Come on. What help? You want some help? No. You want some help? No. All right, I'm gonna give you some help. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right, first things first, we gotta take the old ones off. I'm gonna help you out with this. Don't pull the trigger yet. We're gonna get it all the way on there. All right, now pull the trigger. One. Get it all the way on there. Don't pull it yet. Okay. Okay. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Now go. More. Don't pull it yet. Take them off with the fingers. Okay. Put these bad boys on. I'm gonna grab these ones because these are really not really heavy, but just big. And we also went with some new lug nuts. These are BMS lug nuts, all stainless, open ended. Kind of some Racing mud. A little bit nicer. You gotta put all them all on. Can you help throw them on? Mm -hmm. And step on your and. Oh. Mm -hmm. right, there you go. Carefully, okay? Don't scratch the wheels. Man, they are gorgeous. So like I said, 3030 Auto Sports absolutely killed it. Uh, kind of stinks that we don't have the front doghouse on here right now. But we got our nice open-ended lug nuts. Um, yeah, brakes are going to fit perfect behind there. Now we're on to the next side. All you this time. I'm not doing a thing. Yes, you are. I'm not doing it. Nope, you're doing it. Time to shine. Take them off. You took that one off. Yep. Put it all the way on there. Go down. Oh. <laughs> that has a kick to it. It's got a kick to it.
All right, go ahead and lower it. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Now, like I said, we're gonna have to do a little bit of modifying in the back here. I'll have to pull the back wheels off. I got some, didn't have the ARP studs like I really wanted. They're out of stock, just like everything else. So I went and get ahead. Went ahead and got these Dorman, just half inch studs. They should work for right now. Um, but yeah, let's get the back end raised up. That's your job, right? You're gonna get the back end raised up so we can get those back tires on? Yes. Okay. Go for it. Make sure it's all the way on there. going and come all the way off we'll do another one keep going hard there you go next Okay, so now we got one of the old lug nuts on here. These are Preston style. So what we're gonna do is put one of these lug nuts on here and hit it with a BFH. Yay. If you don't know what a BFH is, I'm not gonna tell you in this, just figure it out. So we're gonna hit this, knock these all out and start getting ready to drill for the new ones. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna change out these studs in the back, these are the new half inch Norman studs. These are the old ones that we pulled out. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these holes out. And these studs are set up so you drill a half inch hole, half inch stud, and the knurling on it will go ahead and bite in. That's just enough to get this thing in there. And yep, so I'm going to start. I have a step bit. It's a tree bit, whatever you want to call it. Everybody's got different names for it. So we're going to drill as much as we can because this isn't deep enough for the axle. Uh, so I'll drill as much as I can, half inch, and then I will go ahead and chase it with a half inch uh, regular bit here. So throw you on a quick time lapse, knock all five of these out, and then I'll go ahead and show you how I'm going to pull those in. So get you down here and go ahead and do that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this through the axle, stack these washers on top, use one of my old kind of junky lug nuts so I don't screw a nice one up. And I will thread that on there. And then I'll go ahead with my impact and put a pair of vice grips on the backside so it doesn't spin. And I will pull these, this knurling on the end here, pull this into the hole and that'll lock that wheel stud in place. Now, this probably isn't the perfect way to do it. Probably should be taken to a machine shop, but we don't have any machine shops that will do it. And since this car plans on getting, I plan on either building a 10 bolt or getting a different axle underneath the back, um, we're just gonna do it this way. So go ahead and do one with you guys. And then I'll throw you back on a time lapse and knock it out. So 
So like I said, put that stud through. They do make a tool for this. Um, I did not get the tool, obviously. We'll lock our vice grips on the back side. And we'll take our impact. Simple as that. So now we'll go ahead and finish the rest of them and get this wheel, back wheel bolted on so you guys can see where it fits. It's not a game, it's a red stick. Okay, so we got them all put on. Now we are going to, I'm gonna put the old wheel back on and put our new lug nuts on and tighten that down. That'll just kind of square up everything before we go ahead and try to put everything back together. You know, cause you can pull these in tight, but you know, really technically to square them up, you almost need to center a wheel on it. So we'll get an old wheel and tighten the new lugs we got on it and then we can pull that all off and we'll put our brake rotor on and new wheel. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put our wheel on. And I kind of did these back ones and we'll get Skylar's reaction. So when she comes back out here, we'll get her reaction on the wheels and see how she likes them. Might attempt to roll this thing outside and get a better view of it. Let me raise it up a little bit. Are you ready? Are you see it done? Mm -hmm. All right. Come on. What do you think? It looks awesome. Do you like them? Are they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Why'd you do it without me? Why did I do it without you? There was some stuff that I had to do that was dangerous for you. So How that drill you, about ate my head off. Uh, the zero turn. Pulled it out with that. What's in the <laughs> it's turned out pretty good. I stuck a brake caliper in here. Gives you kind of an overview of what it looks like. Like I said, we're 18 by 9.5 up front. 18 by 11 out back. 275. 295. 
could drive this. Not yet. We're getting close though. So. So. That's episode number two, right? Yes. Yes. With us, with me. Yep, with you. There's a lot more episodes before that. Hmm. But. Mm -hmm. This turned out pretty good. Mm-hmm. You like them? Yes. Hopefully you guys like them. Can't wait to get the rest of the car. Like I said, we stabbed a caliper in there a little bit just to kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look like. But what do they need to do? Need they to like, subscribe, and make sure that you push the um, bell. And what else? Make sure that you keep following our villain videos too. Hit that thumbs up like that thumbs up button, right? Uh-huh. So so that's wheels. Like you said, 3030 killed it. Uh yes. Keith absolutely nailed it. I'll uh post some pictures on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you're gonna see a lot more pictures of this than just now. Um but yeah turned out absolutely beautiful wheels in the back are spot on they can go a quarter inch out but this gives us enough room for some travel so i think we're still gonna have to roll the top of the quarters uh inside the wheel wells but other than that they turned out fantastic but now looking up here jamie skyler i think we're gonna have to get her in pretty quick it looks like it's gonna rain so with and that, there's birds flying around uh, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, they're gonna poop all over it, aren't they? Uh, and uh, and I got and, my hat stuck trying to chew them away. Uh, on so, the tree. Well, we're gonna get this in there real quick so she doesn't get all rained on. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. Mhm. Mm and make sure that you follow him on Instagram. Instagram and Facebook, and we do a little bit of TikTok might do a little bit more TikTok. So that, I'm gonna get some pictures and we're gonna push her back in. So have a good night. Bye.